Hey guys, so I am just getting ready to go wash my face, take a shower, rinse my hair out. Um, I have in the Matrix Bond Ultimate Step 3 mask um, because I have hair appointment this week um, and just get ready to be done for the day. Uh, but I wanted to film a quick little mini review on the little Invisibobble Waver Bobby Pin guys. Um, that I got the other day. So if you want to see what I think about them, just stick around um, and I will share my thoughts. So these are the new Invisibobble Waver Bobby Pins. Um, and let's see, what does it say about these guys? They're supposed to be... It says... They are... supposed to be a hair game changer. Unique design and special material make it a truly exceptional for hair. Comfortable, gentle, just like other Invisibobble products. Traceless alternative to the usual hair clips and pins. Um, the 3D helix shape gives a strong hold um, and hair preserving hold. The hair is not compressed but held in the uniform cavities and fixed. Um, therefore giving a high level of comfort and then it has something about the slide lock technology so it has this little hooky closure at the end where you like slide it over the end and like hook and lock it so I wasn't gifted these um, I went with my friend um, to the salon store uh, she has her salon hair license. I have my nail license. Um, so we can buy them at cost. Um, so we did get them a little bit cheaper. Um, then you can get them. I think they're $7.99 at Ulta. Um, and we can get them for, I think, $4.99. So it's a little bit cheaper for us. But I bought two packs because there's three per pack of these little guys. So I bought two because I have lots of hair. Um, it's only shoulder length now, but um, it's super thick. So I bought two because I didn't think three would be enough to hold up my little baby hairs in the back when I do a high bun. Because that gives me six bobby pins. Um, and it was $8 for two packs. So at Ulta, Sephora, um, wherever else you can buy regular Invisibobbles, it would be, what, like $16 for two packs? which is a substantial amount of money for some bobby pins because you can get some bobby pins at like the dollar store for dirt cheap so that's it's an investment for bobby pins but i have a lot of hair i pin up the back fairly often so i was like oh we'll try them i love invisibobble regular bobbles mini bobbles like I use all their other ones um, and I don't have any problems so I was like oh yeah let's try them it'll be great they match my hair color great like they super blend in um, I think I can probably show you how they work I can't really see we'll just slide it in so you kind of have to like pop it open and then you slide it and then you like lock the end over itself and then in the back of my hair, they blend in super, super well. So, they work really well. However, this piece of plastic on the bottom is not at all flexible. So, we bought these less than two weeks ago. I have two of these bobby pins left out of six. And they're over a dollar per bobby pin. Um, this little piece, you can hear it. It's like brittle plastic. It's not flexible. This little joint at the end is flexible where you can open it up a little bit. But this little piece where you f flick the piece over the hook, not flexible not obviously made for people with hair 
because I have way less hair than I used to have because we've cut, oh, you know, like the entirety of its length plus half off in the last year and a half or so. Um, and I was trying to close them and the end literally snapped off of all of them, which makes them entirely useless if you can't close them because they don't have a mechanism that keeps them like tight and closed without the hook at the end. So in the span of a week and a half or so, I've gone through four of six bobby pins. So they're basically like eating money. You, for me at least, may as well just eat your actual money because I mean I'm pretty much just afraid to use them now because every time I go to close it I'm afraid that if I have any hair in it at all it's going to break the bottom off which is why when I slid this one into my bangs I didn't even close it I tried to close it and I couldn't get it to click on the first try so I was like oh no let's not because it's gonna break it um, but it's extremely brittle like that tip on the top um, a couple of them broke off way down here at the back and then it serves literally no purpose um, and for the price that they are it's extremely expensive and you're getting literally nothing I'm sure they might work for some people people with really thin hair people who are more careful I don't I don't know I, I don't know that you can be more careful with a, a plastic bobby pin um, and I'm trying to close them with my nails so I don't I literally don't think that you could be more careful than what I'm trying to be with them it's not like I'm trying to fit the entirety of my head of hair into this bobby pin I can tell when there's too many hairs in there and I would slide it back out and then try and close it and slide it back out and try and close it no so these are gonna be a no um, I wouldn't recommend them because A, they're too friggin' expensive, um, B, they come in two colors, clear and this brown color, so if you have a color of hair that is not brown or clear, or a color that clear would work with, you're out of luck, so there's that. Um, and C, they have snapped off and been exorbitantly expensive for the amount of use you can actually get out of them and there's no fix to them once they've been broken like the actual invisibobbles once they stretch out um, you can shrink them back down and keep using them so that's genius I mean I can keep using them infinitely until they're actually broken which has been never so I would absolutely not recommend those um, but I will obviously continue to still buy like their regular Invisibobbles, the minis, um, whatever else, but I'll definitely stay away from the bobby pins. So I just thought I would give you a little rant about those guys because stay away from them. They will crush your hopes and dreams for a lot of money that you could probably get cheaper elsewhere. If you want your dreams crushed for free, just find something else. So. So that's all. I'm going to go rinse out my hair mask and wash my face. I already plucked off my lashes and my lipstick is gone and I'm pretty sure I wiped off my whole rest of my makeup except these little sad bits. But I will see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Um, throw me a like if you would like to and I would appreciate you um, and I appreciate you watching. So thanks.